guys, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Elex. So, in the last episode, Jax over here, um, he helped out the Berserkers at this outpost over here. Um, did a bunch of other things like chatting with lovely guy. He has a fantastic name, Rat. <laughs> and he ratted me out, obviously, to Chloe. So that was so fun. So much fun. Which is basically not fun. Um, yeah. So, um, anyway. So, I've been looking at my quests. And there's some quests that require me to be outside of Tavar. Like, Dilsa's quest about finding um, the guy who stole something. Then there's Cindy's quest about the thief's hiding place. But... Um, we, we won't be able to go there, but there's also this one over here called Stuffing Mouths, which basically requires for me to retrieve some goods. Um, well, the crates with goods. Now, I want to check where on the map we are. Uh, so Bill is not, well, his quest is not that far. Now, I wonder about the Stuffing Mouths. Oh, well, it's <laughs> it's the same direction. I guess we can go do both of them at the same time. Um, and I'm gonna apologize. It's been a little while since I last played it. I know you see the episodes every week, but for me it's been a while. And um, that's, yeah, just need to, like, make sure I don't goof out everything about Jax. And also I have my lovely friend arcs over here and I'm not sure why I'm hopping around oh no I'm not fighting a skex over there huh oh my gosh this place is gorgeous right I mean like it's a desert but it's desert everywhere until you look over there at the mountains and there's snow in the distance like I don't know but there's just some so something really cool about it like really Oh, who the heck are these guys? Merchants? Probably yes. Okay, so I can see some dead bodies already. And I think someone is alive. Which is maybe fantastic. Someone's just smoking with the dead bodies over here. Lovely. So there was an Alp and an Oddlaw. Oh, we we'll found uh, one crate. I don't want to talk to the guy, though. I'll be honest. Not yet. I want to pick up everything. Hey, hey, stop. Please, stop. Have you seen any Alps out there? You'd better be careful. They were around here only a few days ago. They might still be here. Well, never mind. I'm talking to this guy over here. Uh, which Alps are you talking about? What Alps? They attacked our caravan, wiped us out. We just left the Besser on the way back to the fort when they attacked us. It was... it was... it didn't take them two minutes to kill everyone. How did you survive? I was able to hide, just in time. <sighs> Shit. I was just promoted to runner. I thought I could do some easy work in the fort, but instead they went and sent me out here. And I had to watch as the whole caravan was butchered. You're a runner? Yeah. The lowest of the low in the fort. Sure, you get access to armor and a few nice stims, but that's it. Then you get non-stop hassle. If you want to do better, then you have to work your way up. That was my plan. Before this happened here. What are you going to do now? Can I come with you? I need to get back to the fort, but there's no way I can get back there alone. I'm lucky the Alps haven't found me and that the Jackals haven't eaten me. Please, you have to help me. I've got to get back so I can report to Hank. Sure, you can come with me. But, um, one second. Let me just get everything. Or as much everything as I can get. Ooh, a backpack with water bottle. Nice. But, I don't see- oh, there it is. I passed it by. Okay, I got all the crates. And Darks is just there. Okay, now I can talk to you properly, <laughs> kid. <laughs> nice name, by the way. But first of all, um, I'm saving because I'm not sure how he's gonna react when I say Hank sent me. Hank sent me. Then why didn't you say? 
We have to get back and inform the fort that the supply routes to Abessa aren't safe anymore. You want to get back to the fort? Yeah, I should report back. Maybe we should take some of the crates the Alps left. We might as well take some supplies back with us. Sure, I will help you. I don't really care about Hank because obviously this is dangerous and people have to know about this. The attacks and stuff. I'm not sure what the heck Hank has to get out of this. Maybe he's trading with the Alps or something, I don't know. But, I mean, they were attacked by Alps and he's like, no, we gotta keep silent or something, but... Hmm, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I will help you get back to the fort. Oh, thanks, thanks. After that attack, I don't feel confident getting back on my own. You go, I'll follow you. Okay, kid, but you better be able to follow me fully. And also that means that um, you're gonna help me kill some things. <laughs> you're gonna help me kill the outlaw who's kind of like out there. Um, where is that quest? Uh, this one. So let's see how we're gonna fare against whatever entity we're gonna attack. <laughs> I believe he might be maybe like beyond the... Maybe near that tower over there? I don't know if this guy has the jetpack. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. Anyway, let's go! Wow, I wonder what the heck that thing is. If it's like some weird fauna of the desert. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm surprised, but it looks like a coral or I'd something. Wait here. Oh. You don't want to come with me? Right this way? Ugh. Oh boy, I'm gonna hope you're- I'm gonna hope that you aren't gonna die. <laughs> oh, well, goody gumdrops, there's these things. I'm gonna go around them because I don't want to fight a Ripper. I'd rather be alive. Okay, I think I know where the guy must have been at. <laughs> Maybe I can run very quickly. Hello? Arx, help! But it did not help. Arx, help! <laughs> Whew. Well, one by one is manageable. Okay. This guy wants to get a piece of me. Yeah, you gotta be ready. <laughs> ah! Shit. Arcs! Ah! No! Oh, oh I'm alive. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Um... Yeah! <laughs> That was not good. He'd yeah, he'd rather wait here. Let's wait for the Ripper to come over here. Oh, there he is. Okay, come over All right, here. Alright, let's go. I think I'd rather wait here. Watch out! Died. I think I'd rather wait here. Uh, yeah, you you wait. You wait right over there. Well, I go ahead and retrieve whatever the the bandit dude left. Okay, I'm not coming too close because I can see two red dots and they're rippers. So let me wait for my jetpack to refuel. Hey, Arx, what is up? We're 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 doing fantastic, me and you. 
We're kicking their asses. I did not expect to be able to kill Ripper. One by one, they are doable. <laughs> okay, there's another one I should probably kill. Let's get this over with, shall we? Hello! Come over here, darling! Jesus Christ, he's stupid. Okay, he's not. Arcs! Okay, good job, Arcs! From electricity. Mistake again. Yeah, you better not, Tarks, because I need you alive. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Mmm, small mana potion, which is absolutely useless. But alright, I'll just sell it for money. For Alexit. Now, there is the dead outlaw. Technical blueprints. We should probably read those, actually, <laughs> come to think of it. Um, because why the heck not? Oh, they're not over here? Technical blueprints. I guess not. Maybe it's over here. Oh, I have a camp package. I forgot what it's for. Some sort of blueprints and information on a... Excuse me, a long-lost technology that can generate energy. Let me guess. Nuclear stuff. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that's my best bet. That is something nuclear. Okay. I think I see something laying on the tower. Maybe we should go up. Okay. Okay, I'm very inefficient at this. Hmm. Okay, Arcs, we, me and you, we're gonna climb up and see if there's anything to loot. Because I will be very happy if there is something worthwhile. Okay. Like a weapon or an ammo. Oh! Ah! Fuck! Oh shit! Ah! I should have guessed that it was. Ah! Ah! Arts! Help, Arts! Oh man, I'm such an idiot. I forgot that those weird stone things sometimes denote that there's an enemy. Oh, there's another one over there. You know what? Forget it. I'm not coming close to them. <laughs> I'm gonna die if I do. No way. Oh, there's nothing up here. Maybe. Anything up there? Oops. Oh, there's nothing up there whatsoever. I guess that was my imagination then. Well, I need to find my friend whom I left somewhere. Also, I should pick up the plants. <laughs> Definitely. I wonder, can I fast travel with that guy with me? I really hope so. Cool, follow me then. Or I can exploit him, maybe. Do I have any, any other quests uh, in this area? Let me check. Okay, yeah, it's this quest. I doubt he's gonna uh, want to approach that place, the, the lighthouse. Yeah, he might not. He might not. Oh well. Uh, what do we have? Uh, yeah, Bilsa's quest. Uh, I'm probably gonna tag that first. And let's see how teleportation works. <laughs> okay. 
And also, I should definitely visit William because I did beat up that. Um... Oh, what was his face? The guy I didn't like. Oh, okay, so he can teleport with me. Uh, remember we beat up the boss of the arena? Forget his name. The the asshole. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I got out of that. Here, this is everything I can thank you with. I will never leave the fort again. You can bet your life on that. I will go to Hank immediately and give him a report. The people here must know that our supply routes between the fort and Abessa are not safe anymore. Cool. <laughs> Kid left the party. Okay. Also, I'll have to visit Hank. <laughs> He'll be pissed, but whatever. Okay, so here's William. Kim and his lovely- Why did you kill Iron Madison? Oh, I forgot about it. Um... Yeah, I did your favor. <laughs> Let's be heartless about it, shall we? She deserved to die. I did you a favor. You can't just kill our people. She was that important to you? So what? You want to piss on me and tell me it's raining? You don't get to decide what's important to me and what's not. Trust me, I did you a favor. Maybe, maybe. She certainly wasn't a supporter of mine. Unless you have something else to tell me. About these district overseers. Big Jim has backed down. I heard he'd been beaten. He won't get any support to stand against the Duke now. He's already stepped down as a district overseer. He didn't even need to be pushed. You did the job well, and that wins you a share of the takings. Ah, thanks! I got a bunch of old world money and coins. Coins I can actually use! The bundles of money, I don't think I can. I don't remember what that is. By the way, let me just steal everything from you, shall I? Also, I should probably sleep somewhere so that I can report to Rat. Also, I need to remember where Hank is, because <laughs> I do not remember. And yes, Big Jim was his name, and I forgot it apparently. Ay ay ay. Okay, there is Hank. I should be pretty close to him, considering that Mad Bob is right over there. Maybe there is a bed too. A bed I can steal. <laughs> People are afraid of that. Uh-huh. Okay, so there is Mad Bob's place. I should definitely do his quest as well. I forgot about it. Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it next time. Okay, there is the bouncer. Cindy's doing her whatever thing. The dance. Hey, Hank. Bad news. Our caravan was attacked by Alps. Shh. Are you crazy? Do you want to trumpet that any louder? We have to tell people. They have to know. Damn it, kid, shut your mouth. If the people knew we were having trouble with supplies, there could be an uprising against the Duke. But we can tell the Duke, can't we? We should, shouldn't we? Kid, you're a runner. You don't understand these things. Lead them to older and wiser heads, yeah? What's wise about letting people get killed by Alps? That makes no sense. Fucking shit. That is enough. Time to teach you a lesson. Oh. Fight. I was defending. Oh no, the kid is gonna die because of me. Not now. Uh, I'm gonna hope that I'm gonna save the kid. I've got the crates from the missing caravan. Crates speak only of success. The Duke will welcome bringing kid back here. That was not a smart move. That was something the Duke might find. Disappointing. Now, I know you said you didn't want to lie for me, but you should have found a way to keep his mouth shut. Since you didn't do your job properly, the Duke isn't going to want to pay you. And it's best you stay quiet about this. That's the truth of it. Stop playing around with that. It's weapon. better that way. Shh! Are you crazy? Maybe I can say it. Do you want to that any louder? We have to tell people. They have to know. Uh, Damn geez. it, kid, shut your mouth. I'm gonna say. If the people knew we were having trouble with supplies, there could be an uprising against the Duke. But we can tell the Duke, can't we? We should, shouldn't we? 
Kid, you're a runner. You don't understand these things. Leave them to older and wiser heads, yeah? What's wise about letting people get killed by elves? That makes no sense. Fucking shit. That is enough. It's time to teach you a lesson. There you go. I defended Kid. <laughs> and I did not start a fight, he did. Leave your hands oh, where I can finally see get it. <laughs> I saved Kid at least. Well, I got my elix too, so whatever. Everyone's alive, yay! And I was not the one to start the fight. <laughs> okay, I'm totally saving because I don't want Kid to die. Hank can just go, I don't know, go ki kiss his own ass goodbye or something, I don't know. A-hole. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah, stupid. They're stupid people. Yes, the plan is forming. And? Chloe's finally opening up. It just took a little time to get through to her, and then some drink to get her talking. Okay, so what you got from her? What information did you get out of her? Why she can't pay the Duke. I mean, she's in charge of the entertainment district, so she should have Alexa coming out of her ears, right? Yet, she's desperate to collect debt money. She's got no shards to spend. She can't cover the Duke's tribute. I mean, there has to be a story to be told. And? Are you going to tell me the story? Chloe is being forced to pay protection money. She can't pay the Duke or anyone else because she's already being bled dry. Hmm, we shouldn't talk here. Walk with me a moment. Let's go talk outside. Follow me and try not to get noticed. Okay, go ahead. I don't want everybody to hear what I'm about to tell you. The situation isn't exactly safe for anyone involved. Come on, let's get somewhere we can talk. Sure. Okay, I don't think anyone will overhear us here. Okay, let me just save. <laughs> so, this is what I've learned. A guy called Blake is behind this. He's forcing Chloe to pay protection money. Huh. I did not expect it to be Blake. I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna... Who is Blake is the most stupidest question I can ask at this point. So, you finally got some information. How could you doubt the wrath? Before we go any further, let me make one thing clear. Under no circumstances should you speak to Blake. If you approach him now, I've got no doubt he'd back off and leave Chloe alone. But that would just mean he'd just come back later when he thought things had blown over. We need to force him to forget about the protection money for good. Otherwise, what's the point? Ah, uh, maybe... I wonder... It's either... I'm, I'm not gonna go kill him, like, little, literally right now. Besides, murder, um... Doesn't really solve any, everything, so... And I'd rather not resort to murder as my first option. Unless I, I believe the bastard's deserving it, but... Uh, with him... Hmm... See, with the rat, it's also complicating because he might be lying. He did lie before. So he, he, he might be pulling, uh, um, uh, what it, what's the word? Like putting, putting noodles on our ears <laughs> or something like that. Uh, so, okay, I'm gonna say the last option. If Blake's stopping the Duke getting his tribute, we should tell the Duke. Speaking to the Duke is never a good idea. And sure, you could tell William, but... That would make Chloe look weak. She's in enough trouble without having William question why she's in charge of the entertainment district. I mean, you're free to do what you want, but when that goes badly, remember the rat has a plan to sort this out. We should focus on Blake. Despite all his influence, he's been going through bodyguards. Three of them have died in the last two months, but if anybody knows why, nobody is saying. We need to go through his things and find out why. There has to be some dirt there and we can use it. We just need some hint. Then we can sort all this out to our benefit. Chloe gets freed from Blake and we get the shards we need. Okay, so basically I gotta go steal something. Got it, got it. 
Uh, yeah, good question. Why do you think the bodyguards are dead? Well, he seems to have some business to take care of outside the fort. And sure, it can be dangerous out there. And Blake claims the bodyguards were killed by jackals while he was out hunting. But that just doesn't sound right. If you can get to Blake's place, look through his things, then maybe you can turn up some proof of what really happened. Anything that relates to bodyguards. Well, okay, fine. I'll look for the info. Okay. I'll look for the proof at Blake's house. Follow the rat's plan and you'll come out ahead, my friend. Look through Blake's stuff and come back to me when you've found something. Then we'll figure out the next step. I am going back to Chloe's bar. I'll see you there. Well, goodbye. <laughs> I guess uh, my next stop is probably Blake. I might not be able to steal immediately because it's daylight, but... I might be able to do it uh, next time. Meaning if I find a bed and sleep. I'll probably have to do that either way. Now, I need to remember where the heck Blake is. Because <laughs> this place is a maze. Uh... Oh, well, looky here. There's a bed. Sorry, dude. I'll uh, steal your bed for the night. And also recover my health, because Jax is getting really, really weak. Okay. Okay, so I don't remember where he is. True. Oh, right! He's right next to Big Jim! Okay, okay. Right, right. So it's uh, this way. He should be sleeping by now, so... This will be a great opportunity... Oops! To rifle through his things. Oh, actually, no, I forgot he never sleeps. He just stands outside. And does nothing. Okay, there is the place. Okay, there's a Blake. Hi. And goodbye. Okay. Ah, oh, let's see. Ooh. Well, I see an oil lamp. Hmm. Oh, list of names. I guess that was it. <laughs> Pack of cigarettes. Ooh, I want that. <laughs> oh, it's not even locked. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Let me just save. Also, let me uh, read the names, <laughs> the list of names I picked up. Is it gonna be here? Yes, it is. Various names and comments riddled with spelling errors. For Blake, Bax say says, <laughs> sorry, Bax says that all of these gu guys is trustworthy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is funny. Sorry. Celeste, Ryan, Big Jim, Iron, <laughs> Iron Medis Medicine, or Medicine, Cutter, Spike, Gun, Blake. <laughs> Wait, did he write uh, Blake's name in there? And also Bax, isn't that Baxter's name? Baxter says that all of these guys are trustworthy. Ryan, Big Jim, Iron Medicine, Catter, Spike, Gun, and Blake. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that was uh kind of funny. Let me see. Ah, there's a carry-all, and I see some elixir, so I'll have to steal that. Okay, well, there's some elixir in this carry-all, and okay, that's probably an empty shell or drugs or both? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Let me see if I can... Ooh, I can steal a mug. 
I'll populate my mug collection. <gasps> oh my goodness. I love this. My Alexit. My, my. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's a duffel bag I cannot loot, unfortunately. I guess that's it. I'm not sure if I should speak to Blake, but uh, we can go visit Rat. Uh, that them. He should be somewhere there. He should be back at Chloe's bar, so... So let's run over there. And Axe has been very quiet and obedient so far, by the way. Why are you torturing yourself over that? You have no idea what is really going on. Okay. They're torturing... Why would it be anything else? <laughs> They're torturing themselves. Uh, good to know. Good to know. Alright, so... Ooh, Chloe's place. Chloe's place should be... Not that way. It's this way somewhere. Okay, I see the weird... <clears throat> Metal scare scarecrow or something. I don't know what the heck it's supposed to be. I feel like it's it's a scarecrow. Now here is uh yeah he's here. Okay there is rat. Rat, I got you a, a name uh, with a very funny spelling. I found this list at Blake's. A list. All right, let's see if it's anything useful. Hmm. I'm guessing it's a list of names, but with this writing, Bodhi, Gerds, Aaron, Iron, Ma Madison, ah, Iron Madison, Ryan, Re Re Ryan, you know, whoever wrote this can't spell. Well, this seems to be a list of candidates for bodyguards for Blake. That idiot Cameron must have written this before he was killed. Okay, then it's clear what we have to do. Um, I don't want to kill <laughs> Ryan, but sh show Blake the list. Um, I think... Mm, I don't know why we need to talk to Ryan, so I'm gonna say the first. <laughs> show Blake the list. What? No, absolutely not. <laughs> What's that going to achieve? Listen, my friend, I'll explain it to you. If Blake's latest bodyguard Ryan was to die or quit, the names on this list would be candidates to replace him. So, we should change the name on the top. Then, we put the list back and give Blake a reason to hire someone new. Hmm. By we kill him, you mean you want me to kill him? <laughs> That's usually how it goes, Jax, but... Um, a better qu- I mean, I don't want to kill him. I understand that it means you replace people until the turn you want comes up but or something i don't know but how do we get blake to want a new bodyguard we kill ryan of course what else then i take his place after i've written my name on top of the list i'll put it back in blake's place you take care of ryan in the meantime the idiot prides himself on being loyal so chances are you'll have to kill him Trying to persuade him might just mean he speaks to Blake and then our chances will be blown. Got it? Um... Yeah, I got it, but I don't want to kill... kill the guy. Yes. Okay, then go. You take care of Ryan and I'll become Blake's new bodyguard. Then, we will find out what's going on. See you up at Blake's. Okay, cool, thanks. I'll see you later. Um... Question, where do I find him? <laughs> I have no idea where this Ryan guy is, so I'll have to look over here. Uh, bu -bu -bu here you go. Okay. Ryan here, Blake there. Oh, he's right next to us. He's right behind here. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> oh, he's a little uh, kind of outside of Tavar. On the outskirts. Oh, well, there he is. <laughs> he kind of looks dead, but I understand that he's sleeping. Um, okay, so, dude, get up. So fuck off, will you, yeah? Um, no. <laughs> you know what? I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to you. 
All right, all right. I've just been having a bad day. Don't make it worse. What do you want from me? What are you doing out here? You've gone through all that to ask me that? Are you serious? Um, yes. Yes. Man, man, you're a weird one. I'm Blake's bodyguard. I'm just out here on a break. What happens if he's killed while you're on a break? Ah, uh, Blake doesn't need me as long as he stays inside. He only takes me to watch his back when he goes ripper hunting. And when he goes on business trips. That's why I took the job. Plenty of free time. Does that answer your question? I don't want to punch you in the face. Do you want to trade? Do you want to trade? Do I want to? Actually, yeah, I've got some things to trade. <laughs> oh, this guy is kind of funny. I really don't want to kill him, though. By the way, does he have any Alexa that I can earn? That's a good question. Because I've got a bunch of axes. Huh, I got a serrated axe. But it doesn't have any extra damage type, though. Oh, well, I can sell it. Okay, he does have money. Good. Very good. And right, I need to level up my strength. And, oh, I can wield this thing, but it's shit, so... Yeah. I, uh, actually, I might improve it, though. You know what? Maybe I'll just improve it instead. Why the heck not? Okay, so I believe I might have something over here. No, I'll stick with my minor pants, thanks. <laughs> uh, and let's see, do I have any goodies to sell? Goodies that I do not need. I think I had some mana potions or something. Mana potion? Where are thou? Where are thou? I probably... I I'm probably saying it wrong, but... That's what I meant to say. And unfortunately I'm blind because I cannot find it, so instead I'll just sell this. And I got a bunch of drugs, ooh la la. A resistance to fire, poison, ooh health, I, I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> Attack speed, might be interesting to use if I ever use any of them. Um. Wow, okay, I don't need that many teeth. There you go. Also, I don't need that many bones. Uh, 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 uh. And I got- I've got a bunch of notes and books I gotta sell. <laughs> okay, oil lamps. Sell them. Sell the- sell those mugs! Get all the mugs out! And the pipe wrenches and... Yeah, and also these. And yeah, you can take the cigarettes. Who cares about those? Oh, I have a duplicate over here. And oh, oh I skipped the toilet paper. How dare I? <laughs> Skipping on the axe based luxury. And yeah, now that's it. And I have a bunch of money. Yay. Okay, let me see before I ask you to punch oh, your face. Sure, I'm tired. I thought about it. I'm going to punch you in the face. I told you I'm out here on a break. This is the last shit I need on my time off. I'll get you. Ah! poisoning me that was great <laughs> but you're dead so I guess there's no other way to do this quest he has to die on the other hand he's not he's not really nice either so I mean he I'm not sure how bad of a guy he is I'll be honest oh well looky here I found an, uh, an alp spell <laughs> or just a spell because Clerics have very similar spells to Alps. After all, they're practically the same people. Except, you know, clerics don't do elix. At all. Okay, well, let's find Rat. 
Who should be hanging hanging around Blake? Okay. Rat! I'm reaching you very slowly. I know you're- okay, I see you. You're at the wall. So, uno momenta. Let me chat. Ryan is dead. Right. I've put my name on the list and got it in place. It's going to be fishy if I turn up and tell Blake his bodyguard is dead. You had better do it. Won't Blake think it's strange? Me telling him about the bodyguard. What? You mean that he's dead? He might suspect I killed him. Yeah? So what if he does? People get killed in Tavar all the time. And he is pretty used to his bodyguards dying on him one after another. Just go to Blake and tell him you found Ryan's body. You could even suggest that he needs to get a new bodyguard. Sometimes he can be a little slow on the uptake. Right. Then come back and tell me when he knows about Ryan. Cool. Well, since you're right over there, that should be easy. Like, super easy. Okay, well, uh, I found your bodyguard. I found your bodyguard. What do you mean, found? He's dead. <laughs> I knew that guy wouldn't last. You know when you get that feeling that you're gonna have to find yourself another bodyguard? You'll have to find another. Yeah, yeah. And I hate interviews. Fortunately, having been in this position before, I have a handy list of people ready to take on the job. Oh well, on to the next one. Thanks for letting me know. The information about your bodyguard should be worth something. Yeah, yeah, all right. Here, take these shards. Now, get out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Free money, I guess. <laughs> uh... Blake knows Ryan is dead. Okay, now we wait until he comes to me. I have an idea what you could do in the meantime. How about you go to Doc and get us something to celebrate? Isn't it a bit premature to celebrate? Don't worry. Just let the good rat do his thing, my friend. This plan is in action. And that means it's pretty much a certainty. Here, take a few shards. That should be enough to get something from Doc. Where did you get those shards from all of a sudden? You know, shards, they sometimes just turn up. Oh, and tell Doc he should mix us up something special. Just tell him I sent you. Hey, that's Blake coming now. We'd better not be seen talking. Well, I want to spy on your conversation. Hey, rat. Blake, my friend. What do you have in your mind? I have a job offer for you. A job offer? Quick to the point as always, huh? So, what's the job? I need someone I can trust. And I heard from a safe source that you are such a person. A safe source, huh? Yeah, you see, I need a new bodyguard. Ryan has become unreliable. Unreliable? Yeah, you know how it is. He has a habit of disappearing. And he's disappeared again. That's not a good habit for a bodyguard. No, no, it's not. So, this job, what does it involve? Come with me. I will show you what it's about. Okay, you have a deal. And they're off. <laughs> but um, it's actually not that quite interesting. I mean, you can follow them, but it's not going to progress much when you do. And they're just hanging around in the desert to and talk about hunting. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> uh... Unfortunately, you cannot actually witness, you know, everything that goes around there. But hey, the, the dog is over here. And I guess maybe Rat stole the shards from Blake when he uh, put the note back. I, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm assuming, so... <sighs> you better have a good reason for waking me up. Rat sent me to pick up a few chems. Ah, the good old Rat. Yeah, yeah. He said you should send him some of the special stuff. I know, I know, the good old Doc knows. The special stuff, right? Yeah? 
You want cams? You come to a camsmith. Exactly. No problem. I will take care of it. Trust the doc, and I will get to work on it right away. Come back in a few hours. I'll have them ready then. Oh, well, um... Damn it. I want to sleep, though. You said in a few hours. Oh, well, that means I can just uh, go to, uh... Uh, Idan and report to Ragnar about one of his bases over there. Why the heck not? Uh, oops, wrong, wrong direction. I was uh, automatically reaching for the horde. Cause I missed the place. Okay, I'm also gonna assume Ragnar's gonna be pissed because remember I did kill that, that guy Hakan or Harkon or whatever his name is. Oh, well, he's not reacting at all, actually. I have news from the other regions. Oh. What is it? Oh, I met Thorgal. Right, I forgot about it. I met Thorgal in Abessa. You did? And what news? Is he well? Is the World Heart established? The World Heart is being well cared for. Thorgal has been defending it from attacks by the Alps. I take it there were losses. Regrettable. But these days, that is quite normal. In any case, thank you for this report. Take this as payment. Wow, thanks, generous. I got 200 back. Lost 200 from Rat. At least they are the ones that Rat gave me as well. And then I just gained yours to your 200. Your outpost in Tavar was attacked by outlaws. You've seen this for yourself? Or did you hear about it from your friends? Speak up now. Has the World Heart survived? It was destroyed. And our men? Geralt has managed to hold the outlaws off, for now. He has done well. I will send him reinforcements. If we can hold that part of Tavar, then in only a few years that desert will be forest, and Idan will stretch yet further across Magalan. Here. You have earned this as payment for your news. This should at least cover the supplies it took to bring me this information. You have your reports. It is not an easy quest that our forefathers have given us. But by the Pilgrim, we will see Amrek's dream become real. As he built it down from desert to forest, so shall we continue his work until all Magalan is cleansed of Elix and grows pure again. Oh, well, thanks. You're very generous by giving me a level up. I should Go probably... Go play with your tech somewhere else. It's uh, forbidden here. Shut up over there? Uh, anyway, so I can totally get more strength, but I wonder if I should get... What is it called? Wasn't there, like, a perk that maybe increases my attributes or something? I mean, I have a bunch of learning points to invest. Oh wait, that aura might be underleveled in some uh, of my stats for it. Oh, well, I can totally learn pickpocketing, eh? <laughs> but I'm not sure how worth, uh, how much worth it actually is, so... Locks will no longer break. To be honest, that's not really an issue either. Okay, so, well, apparently I gotta be super cunning for it. Yay. Oh, I remember, I remember, um, I should get the, 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 oh, what is it? Uh, I need the, the, the hunting skill for trophies. I definitely need to get that. Okay, well, I'll just dump everything into strength. Or some of it into strength. <laughs> uh, well, it's not enough, but it's a start. Yeah. Okay, so, and uh, I wanted a survival trainer. I forget where I can find one. I think one of the. Uh, yeah, Born was a survival guy. Um, unfortunately, I kind of remember. Don't remember. The general do I mean, I kind of remember the direction, but at the same time not. I just know- I just remember that he's like all the way down here. Okay. 
Oh, Arx is really, la really lagging behind. Ah, oh, poor guy. Okay, so where is he's in the hut? Okay, born. Uh, Get up. Hello, is someone there? Teach. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do. Blah blah blah. Okay, give me this, please. Okay, I gotta be intelligent to get the next level. But that's gonna be really good for crafting. Um, I mean, I could totally get this, but is there a point in that? I can also get extra hit points. And... Get some resistances. Increases the health you gain uh, from eating food. I don't know by how much it increases, so probably not a lot. Well, to be honest, I do want to see which teleporters I can pick up, so why the heck not. And I'll reserve some of the other ones oh, for later. Is someone there? Um, okay, so... Oh! Right, I need a bed. <laughs> I forgot about it. Okay, um, can you like what get you up? Doing here? I wanna steal your bed. I wanna steal your bed. I wanna steal. Come on, I wanna steal your bed. Apparently, I cannot if I wake them up like that. Ugh. Jesus, dudes. They're so damn annoying. Okay, so there's a teleporter in the old factory. <laughs> Apparently, there's also one over here, one over here. You see, I missed a bunch. Oh, right, I definitely missed the one over there. Mmm, very nice. See, this is worth it. At least I'm able to tell what the heck I missed. I seem to pick up almost everything in Ignadon except that. That. There's uh, one near the converter. One all with the ice palace, huh? Interesting. Other than that, I'm kind of more or less okay with teleporters, but yeah. Now at least I, I, I'll know what to do or where to go. Oh, Ratch is all the way there. Haha. -ha. Okay, let's go to the Duke. And let's find a bed somewhere. Okay, so any free you bits? Try and travel at night, you'll be dead by morning. Well, well. <laughs> you'll be dead by morning. Well, well. The lady says, "Ah, oh, there's a bed. Who, who's a out bed. There? A bed. It's my bed. <laughs> I'll sleep till morning." And by the way, Jack, that must be very uncomfortable to sleep. <laughs> I mean, literally on his stomach. He sleeps on his stomach. That's the most awkward sleeping position ever. <laughs> okay, dog, do you have your chems ready? Hey, hey! I have your order for rat. Be careful with it. <laughs> because <laughs> I did myself with this. Have fun. Now, fly, birdie. Fly! Ah! <laughs> uh... Thanks, you're really funny! <laughs> the way he speaks, though, is hilarious. Okay, let me say, because I, uh, a rat is apparently back here. I'm sorry, if you're looking for Blake, Blake doesn't live here anymore, friend. If you need something from now on, come to me. I'm the new boss here. Shit, man. What did you do to Blake? Me? Who said the rat did anything? You don't want to believe the rumors about him being staked down and eaten alive by jackals. They're just rumors. Say, wasn't there a time I came to you for money? And you laughed in my face and gave me two shards? That was a long time ago, Rat. I didn't mean anything by it. Well, forget your shards. I own you now. Say yes, Rat. Yes, Rat. See, that's how plans work, my friend. You play the long game. Wow! You okay, so he killed Blake and took his place. Literally. And apparently, 
he can feel very salty based on how you treat him. Welcome back, my friend. What happened? You know, I thought about it, but the bodyguard job just wasn't for me. So you manipulated the situation throughout? Looking at Blake, I realized I was much better suited for his job. I just had to get close enough to him when he wasn't here in the fort and without a bodyguard around. And what do you know, with the things you did and some plans and a bit of luck, that's exactly what happened. Huh, yeah, yeah, he's really smart, like this guy. What about Chloe's debt to the Duke? Blake introduced me to the bloody and showed me where Chloe's shards were buried. You can tell William that Chloe will pay the Duke's tribute from now on. I will cover her outstanding debts. Oh my gosh, I got so much experience for his quest. The bloody. Jax, he's probably talking about the bloody damn Baxter. The bloody? Who are you talking about? Baxter. Bloody Baxter. The guy who ruled the fort here before the Duke took over. The guy who survived the Duke's jackals and who fled the fort streaming with blood. I mean, that bloody guy. You met Bloody Baxter. You don't meet Bloody Baxter. He invites you, and you go, and you hope you can get to come back. I only told you that because I think you and I are good friends now. But it's best you forget that now. Baxter is dead, okay? As far as you believe, Baxter died years ago. So let's get to the bit about your share. You and I are a team friend, and friends look after each other. If you remember, you gave me 50 shards when we first met. Now it's my turn to help you. And I'm not just talking shards here. I've got something special. Just don't talk to anyone about this. You'll learn what the claw means when the time is right. Until then, hold on to it. I told you friendships pay off. But now I have to take care of my new duties. See you around, my friend. Holy damn, yeah, he gives you a thousand elixir if you were nice enough to give him 50 in the, when you first met him. Like, he's really generous. And the cloth thing that he gave you, mm, we'll need it to uh, get into a special place all the way in the domed city. We'll need it. And you can get the claw from several people. People, Rat just happens to be one of those people. The other one, I believe you can get from... What was his name? Alric, all the way in Idan. And there's uh, some woman you can get it from. Oh, and the cleric guy who's like guarding uh, the hort. You remember the one who's, who was really salty at Jax for like not um, naming the culprit that he's that um, that he wanted out of out of the hort? Yeah, that guy. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I do have the chems. I have the chems you wanted from Doc. Ah, yes. I only asked for them to keep you busy. You can keep them if you want. I can't touch that stuff now I'm in charge. But hey, more fun for you. I don't touch chems either. <laughs> I wonder what you sell. What goods have you got? All right. Oh, um, yeah, come on, you broke your voice. Don't break your voice. Jesus. I think I'm gonna get some lockpicks. Five. <laughs> I'll get five lockpicks. Uh, you don't have anything special. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Goodbye. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm way past our time uh, for this episode. So thank you for watching. This was quite an eventful adventure, yeah? Um, yeah, so I'll see you, uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!